Tea or carumpet? You could, well, tea with a carumpet. This is very cool horn from Osmond Brass, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the horn in just a bit, so stay tuned to this video. Thanks. Everybody, it's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. I hope you're doing well. Thanks again for watching these videos and supporting our shop during this pandemic. Your support means everything to us and helps us keep the lights on, which is really great. And get cool toys for you, like this Osmond Carumpet. Now this is a double shepherd's crooked horn. You can see it right there. One shepherd's crook there, and then one shepherd's crook here. It's got a beautiful bend to it. Um, I don't think the bends are exactly the same uh, like uh, Copernicus. This is a very different horn than Copernicus. If you think, oh, well, it's the same as the uh, the ACB Copernicus. While I love this horn, and obviously this horn was out before Copernicus was, um, this is much more in the flumpet vein than Copernicus is. Copernicus has a little bit more versatility overall. Um, so let me, uh, it's a medium large bore. It has a very large throated bell. You can see that very large throat, but the diameter of the bell isn't that large. So, and it's in this very cool custom lacquer finish. Uh, it almost looks like brushed raw brass, but it's not because you got a, a clear polished bell. Um, recessed valves. I do believe these are the Carol valves, um, but they feel awesome. They sound great. They describe this horn as being best uh, suited for a TF or FX mouthpiece. And I was playing that initial uh, few clips, like the, the ballad and a little bit of the post horn solo, sort of, and a little bit of Charlier with the ACB uh, TA. I'll put this in front of my face so you can see it a little bit better. TATF, which is a pretty deep mouthpiece. Um, I'm going to play it with the FX now, so you can hear it. I mean, it's very, very fun. This would be a great, if you're playing like a trio gig, quartet gig, if you're playing in a brass quintet, you don't necessarily want a flugelhorn. Brass band parts that are, have really demanding flugelhorn parts would work really well on this horn, actually. So it's, I'm gonna turn off this mic and I'm gonna go to my uh, ribbon mic. But remember, in this room at the shop, the microphone demos that we're using are completely raw and unedited. So they're very raw, and this room is quite dead. So you're getting a, a very accurate sound of what the horn is. Um, I might take this home and do a studio recording on it as well and uh, sweeten it up a little bit because I think this horn sounds really fantastic.
that clip was with V. Let me see if I can get that a little closer and a little less blurry. That's the FX mouthpiece, which is quite deep. So you can see that mouthpiece. It's really deep. This is the TF, so you can see the depth of the two cups. Next, I'm going to pull this out again. I'll do a clip with just a TA1. So this is a, just a V cup. And then I'm going to actually do a clip with a, uh, a lead trumpet mouthpiece because you can actually get some good pop on this horn. It's pretty versatile. Um, it's very cool. Like I said, it's a little bit darker on the, on the sound spectrum than Copernicus is. Um, I think the original intent was to copy a flumpet, but this actually feels good in the hand. I had a flumpet. I had three or four flumpets, actually. Um, and I loved how they played. I think that's actually the greatest uh, horn that uh, Dave has made. And it really epitomizes the sound concept that, that they have, uh, for me at least, because the other horns don't really sound like trumpets, per se. Um, but uh, if, the last one I had was so heavy that it hurt my shoulder for two days after a three-hour gig. So I, I sold it and bought a car. And it's got some good flexibility as well. Um, now, the last clip I'll play on this horn, I will play with the um, TAZ. So this mouthpiece, I'm going to try to put it in front of my head so you can see it. There you go. That's one of my lead trumpet mouthpieces that I use on pop bands. So let's do some Phil Collins on this. This will be interesting. I've never done it before. Even though this horn has a huge double shepherd crook and the, it's very designed to be a, a, a thick, rich ballad horn, it could still pop. So great horn for sale at ACB. Take a moment, hit the subscribe button somewhere over near those cool coronets. Thank you again for your great support of the shop. Stay tuned to all of our new arrivals. We're getting so many great horns in right now. Thanks again. Happy tootin' and have some tea and crumpets.